Um, congratulations to both of you on your nominations. You know, our economic miracle is fundamentally founded on three capabilities that we have in the United States. Our ability to innovate, our ability to form capital, and our rule of law. And the rule of law really helps us protect individual property rights. Ms. Lee, I'd love, you, love for you to talk a little bit more about finding the balance. You've spoken uh, often about these two competing issues, abusive litigation practices and, and the rights of legitimate patent holders. What, what do you plan to do as a director of PTO, and what can we do as a legislative body to help you find that balance? So that's a topic that I give a lot of thought to, Senator Perdue. And coming from the business world, I understand the very fragile and delicate balance. It is absolutely right to strike that right balance. It's not a single point, but it's probably a range. Um, and. I think we just all need to work together and we need to put the interests of the overall patent system ahead of personal interests. You know, companies and individuals, right? What is right for the patent system, not just for me now and today, but is what is right for our patent system? What is right for this country now and in the long run so that we continue to maintain the strongest um, economy of innovation incentivized by intellectual property. And I, I gave a speech on this, and it's something that I feel very, very deeply about. I'm a beneficiary of our economic innovation economy, and it's something that I hope my daughter has the benefit of having in her generation and subsequent generations. And so I would ask that you know all of our stakeholders and all of us to work together to strike that right balance. Thank you. Mr. Marti, you've uh, spoken often, I think even in your December 10th uh, testimony, about how voluntary initiatives are really critical in finding the balance of uh, combating piracy and, and fraudulent practices. You've also talked about coordination of all the stakeholders. Can you tell us briefly a little bit about the steps that the, the IPEC is taking and can take in this area and what additional work do you think is, uh, is required? Thank you, Senator Perdue. The office have previously worked on five very important voluntary initiatives. and. Uh, they largely talk, uh, tackled following the money, advertising, revenue, payment processing to these rogue websites. If confirmed, I look forward to assessing how these existing voluntary initiatives are working and where they can be improved. I also look forward, if confirmed, to thinking of some enhanced enforcement strategies for this digital age. Uh, as we've been talking about today, this is a global issue, and we need to make sure that we can combat piracy and counterfeiting domestically and overseas. And voluntary initiatives is a good place to start where we can bring in uh, the private sector to think about some of these issues and use the IPEC office as a convener um, to bring some new solutions and thoughts to the table. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman. You.